What's going on guys? It's your boy Real Dilla Kill back again with another video. Today I have a story time for y'all today. About the first time that your boy Real Dilla Kill dove into the devil's lettuce. I'm not here promoting the usage of marijuana or drinking. I am done with the drinking. So if you or any of my friends that watch this video ever see me outside with a cup that looks like alcohol, I want you to slap it out of my hands and say, no, 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 because I don't get involved in that activity anymore. I do not drink, but on the marijuana side, hey, Hey, I don't, I'm not telling you to go use it, but yay. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like it. Comment down below. Let me know what your first time was like dealing with the devil's lettuce, dabbling in the, the gracious greens, you know? But let's get into it. The first time I smoked weed, I did not get hot. It did not happen for me. I'm what they call a late bloomer. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Don't ever consider yourself a late bloomer for doing anything. Whatever it is, your first drink, your first time smoking, your first time doing the deed, it, there's no such thing as a late bloomer. You know, you do it when you do it, you do it when you're ready. If you do it at all. But anyway, I was in high school. I got invited to a party. One of the people there offered me some weed. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. And I smoked it out of a pipe, right? For one, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know how to use a lighter properly. So I had somebody do it for me because when I tried to light up the bowl, I constantly was burning my thumb. Like my thumb was bright red because of the amount of times that I kept burning it trying to light the bowl. So I had somebody do it for me, took my head. I took a little cough. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And I probably took one more hit of that, right? I was just sitting there. People were gone out of their minds, eyes low eyes red and here I am like nothing happened and in my mind I was like why do people do this this is pointless I just destroyed my lungs for 20 minutes just for me to feel nothing I might as well have smoked a cigarette now okay I take that back do not smoke cigarettes or the jewels or those vapes stay away from all that stuff if it's not marijuana stay away from it honestly just stay away from it all don't just do it all right just stay away from everything all right just don't do it back to the story i didn't feel anything at all i wasn't disappointed but i was just like dang like i was expecting more of this i was an avid i don't know if any of y'all had avid in high school we had a guest speaker come in and she was talking about the time she smoked marijuana for the first time and she didn't like the way it made her feel and she never did it ever again. Me personally, I mean, we are all over 15, 16 at once. Now, for all my people that are recreational users of the plant, there was that point of time that we were like, man, I'm never gonna smoke weed. I'm never gonna drink. But here we are drinking every weekend, puffing on gas, puffing on zooties. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But we all thought that when we were as a kid. I didn't think anything of it because I knew that I never was gonna smoke. At least at that point in my life. I tried it and I was like, ah, okay, nothing happened. Fast forward two or three months later, that was the first time I ever, you know, dabbled, right? But this is the first time that I was elevated off of the substance. I remember me and my homeboy, right? He hit me up, he's like, yo, you trying to smoke? This is back when grams were $20, bro. Do you remember that era? A gram doesn't even do anything for you in a rap. People were making a dub off of that. That is a scam. That's highway robbery. Now they're half that. Now, which makes more sense. I think we get enough for two, right? Cause we went, we, you know, we went half on it. So we got two G's, 40 bucks, bro. There's a lot of things that people waste their money on. I promise you getting marijuana from your local street pharmacist is <laughs> the biggest waste of money that anybody can ever spend do not use your money to pick up marijuana from your local street pharmacist okay you will be disappointed go somewhere where it's legal i promise you the experience will be 10 times better so we get enough for two wraps of the gracious green he rolls it up and we start and we start chiefing you know and we're driving you know we take a few hits I take some, he takes some hits, I take some hits. You know, we pass it back and forth, you know, cause it's just us two. Next thing you know, it hit me out of nowhere. My eyes are red and 
my eyes just get real heavy and it wasn't like i was tired it was just out of nowhere like my eyes are normal sit normal right let me take my glasses off because i know my eyes look better i can't see a thing by the way so this is my eyes are normal right out of nowhere they just get low and heavy and i'm trying to like i'm putting on my ultimate life light skin face on right now i'm trying to open them but they were not opening whatsoever and that's when the moment kicked in and i felt in my brain i felt in my head my head was a little fuzzy and i got that feeling and i was like oh yeah this is what it's like do you know what i did i started laughing uncontrollably i don't know what it was but i had a great Time, bro. I had a splendid time. I was just laughing, me and my homeboy. We would literally say the simplest things, bro. And they would have us dying laughing for at least 10 to 15 minutes, bro. This is like a Saturday. We're 18, we're in high school, we didn't work. So it's like, what are we gonna do? We were just sitting there laughing, having a time of our lives for a good hour, bro. And then I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. I hit up some of my friends. I'm like, yo, you're trying to go meet up with us at McDonald's. I'm just dying laughing. They were like, yo, you good? And you're just like, <laughs> yeah. And so we drive to the McDonald's. From what I remember, my driving was pretty smooth. We didn't get pulled over. I ain't run no stop signs. I ain't run no lights. I was going to speed limit. And honestly, you better if you're under the influence of of the gracious green and you have and we only smoked one and we had two the most responsible thing you can do is be a safe driver there's no reason for you to be speeding there's no reason for you to be switching out of lanes not using your blinker be a responsible driver especially off of the gracious green be a responsible driver in general now if you're drinking alcohol just don't drive at all save your life and someone else's and your car by not driving call a uber call a a friend call your mom or your dad they'd rather you call them at three o'clock in the morning coming from the party wasted than you trying to drive home we get to mcdonald's right while i'm in the line i'm looking at my food my mouth gets severely dry and i didn't know this at the time but the a side effect of the gracious green was cotton mouth so i had all the signs of a person who was elevated man i couldn't even lick my lips because my mouth was so dry i had no saliva it was just a disaster so i ordered the food and i'm thinking i'm starving i order a, a 10 piece mcnugget with a large fry I didn't even touch it. I ate one fry and I realized I couldn't eat it. And this, at the same time, I was just dying laughing because I picked up three of my friends. And you know, they're sitting across from me and they could see how cooked I am. They could see it in my eyes, so they're just laughing. And then I'm laughing because they're laughing at me knowing how cooked I am. And on top of that, I'm also laughing at the fact that I'm cooked and I know I'm cooked So and I'm enjoying it. But I could not eat. I should have ordered a water and I overstepped my boundaries getting that food i wasted about seven eight dollars on a 10 piece meal with a large fry i didn't touch it i couldn't do anything with it and i let everybody else have it i was like hey y'all want this cool i dropped them off and we wound up you know smoking the second one and it was just more of the same it just consisted of me and my own boy just driving around laughing then his girl he hit up his girl to see what he was doing because we were just driving around for some time right so he hit up his girl she tells us that she's playing sand volleyball with some of her friends we ain't have nothing to do we're cooked we go play sand volleyball we probably didn't have the the right attire on for sand volleyball but in the end i had a great time did i miss a couple serves absolutely did i did i did i bomb a couple of uh, you know rebuttals once somebody hit it on my side absolutely but you know i did my thing i hit a i made a serve i hit you know i got the response back you know i don't know what they call it back like once after a serve once it's in play Play. I don't know what that's called, but just know I held my own while I was off the gracious green. All in all, it was a great experience. For my first time that I got elevated off the gracious green. I want to know how many times I've said that because I felt like I've said that a lot. For some people, your first experience when trying it may not be like mine. You may not have a great experience and that's okay. You can either do two things with it. You could either one, not do it anymore or two, it could go like mine and you enjoy it. And now I want to say I'm a frequent user, but I occasionally dabble 
in the gracious green. I actually have another story about the time I first hotbox, but I'll save that for another time. If y'all want to hear that story, please let me know in the comment section. Moral of the story, man. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you want to try it, be safe and do it with somebody that you trust because some people, when, they're a, when they are experienced, they will try to make you look like a jackass. And if they try to make you look like a jackass for your first time doing something, they ain't your friends. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that story time. I probably left out some stuff because it's it's been a long time like i said man if you like the video like it if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them in the comment section tell me about the first time that you were off the gracious green and how they went and then of course if you like the content and want more subscribe to the channel man peace